Hey guys, it's Fletch. Uh, welcome back to the Big Sky Tactical Channel here in Big Sky Country, also known as Montana. And guys, uh, as some of you, as some of you have probably guessed by the flamboyant title of this video, Ron Paul is not the answer. Uh, it, it it was intentionally meant to be that way. And let me share with you where I'm coming from and um, what I want to share. In my opinion, and again it is, it's just that, it, it's my opinion. And you have you know, every right to, to disagree with me. And I don't think you're wrong if you disagree with me. You know, that's just your opinion. And the great thing about living in a constitutional republic is that we both have a right to be wrong. And we both have the right to share our opinion. So, <laughs> it, you know, uh, if you are a libertarian, then, uh, you know, those should uh, ring true with you. But guys, gals, Ron Paul is not the answer. No politician will ever be the answer to what is wrong with our country. What's wrong with our country is that people don't care. <laughs> a politician is never going to change that. A politician is a figurehead. A politician is one of many choices that you are given. If you're only presented with let's say, three choices. Do you really honestly have a choice if you're only presented with three choices? That's it, only three choices. So let's say that, uh, as an example, let's say there's a Democratic nominee, there's a Republican nominee because the Republican Party, in my opinion, is not going to allow Ron Paul to, to get their nomination. <coughs> But uh, I think that he probably will and should run as a independent. So then, now you're going to have three choices, right? Well, is that really freedom if you really only have three choices? I don't know, something to think about. But anyways, moving on. Um, Ron Paul can't do it by himself. Getting Ron Paul elected isn't going to change shit. It isn't going to change anything. Because you know what? He's going to need you, the American people, backing him up. He's going to need you, the American people, calling and writing your senators and your, your representatives of your state and, and um, making sure that they understand that you're not happy with the things that they're voting on, right? Like this, uh, the, you know, the Senate bill that, you know, that just allowed the, the U.S. military to arrest American citizens on American soil. You know, that is in violation of, of the Constitution in so many places and laws that, you know, we've had on the books forever from posse comitatus to the amendments, right? But how many of you have taken the time to write your representatives or call them? How many of you have taken the time you know, to make sure that everyone in your sphere of influence, everyone that you talk to, everyone that's around you, that, that everyone knows that, that this has happened? Because that's what it's going to take. It's going to have to be a grassroots effort because the mainstream media is not going to do it. There are five or six companies that own all of the mainstream media. And, <laughs> you know, as the old saying goes, you know, if, if it's on the TV or the quote unquote idiot box, if it's on idiot box, it ain't true. Or at least the version they're telling you, it ain't true. You need to verify it with a couple other sources, especially if it's something really important. And, uh, you know, it's going to take people like me 
people like you, people like the people I know, people like the people that you know, going out there and sharing this information and encouraging other people to speak out in peaceful protest. Hey guys, uh, I've done two or three videos today, and so some of this you may have already heard. But hey guys, I guarantee you that you know a lot of your state senators, a lot of your state representatives would shit a brick sideways if they started receiving thousands or ten thousands or hundreds of thousands of calls and letters from people saying, hey, you know, I saw that you voted for this piece of crap legislation that allowed for, you know, the United States military to arrest U.S. citizens on, on American soil. You know, this is in direct, you know, you know of, of this provision and this provision and the Constitution, and this is wrong, and, you know, you know, we are going to hold you accountable to it. Now that doesn't, I'm clearly, clearly, I'm not saying threaten anyone. That is not what I'm saying. So don't try to put those words in my mouth. What I'm saying is hold them accountable to it. Whether that means that you start a petition drive to recall them, or whether that means that, you know, you start a peaceful protest at your state capitol protesting against it. Whether it means that, you know, the next time that that person is up for re-election, that, you know, you, you know that, that you are extremely vocal and, you know, reminding everyone that that, you know, scumbag, and, and yes, you know, even my own senators here in Montana, who, you know, in the past, you know, I have thought had, had you know, pretty good voting record, both of those scumbags voted for that. And guys, if you're watching this right now and you voted for that piece of trash legislation, you are a scumbag in my opinion. I just can't believe that in guys and gals, it's going to take you and me, the American people, is the only way, the only way that it's ever gonna change is when enough people wake up. But you can't be in your shell hiding for fear that, oh my God, you know, they just passed this law saying, you know, that, well, just about anyone can be an enemy combatant. And, oh my gosh, you know, I can't speak out because if I speak out, they're going to come take me away to Guantanamo Bay and my family is never ever going to see me again. Right? Well, guys, the other side of that is, you know, that could very easily simply be disinformation, right? Designed to keep you quiet, to keep you afraid of your government, to keep you to be unwilling to speak up, to make you unwilling to lead other people. But, guys, that's what it's going to take. But would I like to see Ron Paul elected president? Yes, absolutely. But that's not going to solve shit. It's going to be business as usual and nothing is going to change until the American people wake up and start caring about what's happening in their country instead of who's screwing who on desperate housewives and, you know, the, the record of your favorite sports team, yada, 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 you know, we, there's so many distractions in our society nowadays that people just don't care. So if you really do care and you really do love your country, please speak out, share the truth, tell people about things that are really actually going on, like, you know, the... the um, Law that just got passed allowing, uh, you know, the, the <clears throat> armed forces to arrest U.S. citizens on American soil, right? That's what it's going to take. It's going to take the American people as one, in unison, speaking out. Thanks, guys. I appreciate your time.